Hello. Um, hi. Were you waiting for somebody here? I was waiting for one of my friends, so she hasn't shown up yet. Okay. Well, would you like to play a game? Sure. So what's your name? Margaret Walker. What's yours? My name's Francis. Francis Villan. So tell me, Margaret, do you believe in demons? No, why would I? Well, I'll tell you what. How about the winner of this game decides if demons are real or not? Fine with me. All right, then. Checkmate, Margaret. Checkmate. Well, congratulations. And now I guess it's my turn to prove to you that demons are real. What do you mean by that? Ah! What? What the hell is this? It is a curse that I have placed upon you. You have 13 days to get the spell undone, or else you become a demon in my service forever. Yeah. Whoa, what happened to your hand? That's actually what I came to talk to you about. You know about demons and stuff. Of course. Well, is there any way you can tell me how to get rid of this? Oh, wow. This is really cool. But, yeah, I know a guy. And who is he? He's an exorcist by the name of Nathaniel Simon. He specializes in this kind of stuff. If you'd like, I can have him over tomorrow. So where's this guy? He's right over there. Are you Nathaniel Simon? Depends on who's asking. I'm told you could help me with this problem. I was cursed by a demon, and... And how much money do you have? Well, well, well I, 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 I have, I, I think I, in a bank in Sweden. Forget it. I'm not going to take some job because you escaped, scraped together some petty cash for me to go risk in my life getting killed because you did something stupid. How do you know I did something stupid? Let me put it this way. Nobody gets cursed by a demon unless they're an idiot. Well, will you at least listen to what I have to say? Talk all you want. Doesn't mean I'm going to listen. I was playing chess in the park one day, and this guy challenged me. And I accepted, mm -hmm. yep. but I lost. Uh -huh. And then this thing showed up on my hand. Yep, yep, of course. Uh -huh. And, um, what was his name, by any chance? Frankie Francis, something like that. Seriously? Anything less pulled off the top of your head? I, like what, Steve? No, it definitely started with an F. I'm pretty sure it was Francis. France, oh. 
Francis? Yes. Any, any last name? Uh, Walland, Woland, something like that. Voland. Yeah. On second thought, I will help you, but on one condition. I'm going to need your help taking this guy down. But why? Well, you see, the fact of the matter is, I happen to know this Francis guy, uh, have a little bit of a history with him, know that he's uh, not the type to be taken lightly, and that he has a lot of people working for him. So I'm going to need a little bit of uh, an assistant, you could say, an apprentice, if you'd like to call it that. Do we have a deal? Yeah. yeah. Alright. See you tomorrow. Where? Well, I'm here. Okay, good. Today's your first day of training. What's your name again? Margaret Walker. Okay, Margaret. Now we begin. All right, so we're going to start your training with this. Why do we use old guns like this? Well, basically it's because if you're going to kill a demon, you need to use a silver weapon. So for example, take a blade like this, made of silver, you're going to kill him pretty easily. Now that, okay, I'm going to be honest with you here. I'm not the Lone Ranger. I can't just be making silver bullets left and right that gets pretty expensive. It's just a lot easier to make the like the little metal balls and fire those because then I don't have to like machine manufacture them and stuff and uh, then I have to make it count instead of wasting them. So uh, we use those because I'm cheap. you always wear for? Oh, uh, this one you mean? Yeah. Yeah, um, back in the old days when exorcists were a bit more of a respected profession, this was like kind of the knife that they would give you once you passed your mark of mastery. Um, nowadays the profession has kind of degraded to more or less guns for hire, but it's a nice relic to hold on to. Do you have the information I asked you for? Who's to say? You broke. Alright. Where's he at? Probably 50 on Avalon. Thanks. You ain't never seen it. Are you sure this is the right house? There are like flowers and stuff. Well, too late now. wrong house. I sure hope nobody's home. And I hear that he calls that thing behemoth. What a joke. 
So what are we looking for? This all looks pretty normal to me. Um, I don't know. Anything that looks like... Demonic or some type of, I don't know, like ancient scrolls, um, witchcraft stuff, potions, I don't know. Whatever you think looks suspicious, I guess. I mean, um, no, not a teapot. Those are my delicious treats you have there. Take one if you want. One, for so your bad luck. Two, for a poltergeist to follow you the rest of your life. And three, three for your soul. So this is the help you required to help end the curse. So it would seem. I'm unimpressed. I'll tell you what. Behemoth and I are feeling pretty generous today. So I'm going to help you out a little bit. Instead of having you running around trying to end this curse by yourself, I'll challenge you directly. So what's the catch? Well, for the opportunity of allowing you to kill me, if you lose the duel, not only will you become a demon, but you will also lose all memories of your human life. Sounds fair enough. On the thirteenth day of your curse, we will meet at the abandoned factory at 3 p.m. outside of the schoolyard to settle our debt. And Mr. Simon? It might intrigue you to know, Krista is still alive. But she works for me now. Hmm, that's interesting. I'm looking forward to our duel. In the meantime, I've left you some things to keep you amused. So who's Krista? Well?
out rather differently, didn't I? What? Spend all this time and you got nothing to say? Meet me at the bridge one hour after your little friend, Margaret, is done with friends. Well, that's certainly not the reunion I was expecting. Did you? I see you made a deal with Francis. Why? What's in it for you? I've always wanted to be a witch. That's always been my motivation. And what did Francis want you to do for this power? Well, to kill you. us be using his bar after we just killed the owner? She's not going to be using it anymore, that's for sure. So, you sure you're ready for tomorrow? No. Well, can't do much about that now, can we?
you brought a gun. Why? I sense no silver here. That thing will do no harm to me. Not as bad as I expected. I guess I just won't have to go back. Is that all you got? I thought demons were supposed to have special powers. Well, since this battle is mine, I don't mind showing off a little. Hey, what's going on? There's something that you should know, very important about powerful demons like him. They are, of course, able to use magic, such as, you know, cursing your hand like that, but they can also use it to obviously fight people with. And so, as good as you've shown progress within uh, your time training under me as an apprentice, you aren't really ready to face that. Fortunately for you, I got you a little something. Demons like Francis have five magical reservoirs in them. This gun doesn't fire silver bullets. Instead, I've specially made six bullets for it that when you shoot him with it in the vital areas, they will destroy them. And the next time that he tries to use magic, if you have successfully destroyed all five reservoirs, it will backfire on him. Sweet sauce. Yeah. Margaret and Francis are having their fight now. I don't care about that. This is the only fight that matters. All right then. By now, Margaret should have killed Francis, so soon you'll no longer be a demon in his service. That's where you're wrong, Nathaniel. I wasn't cursed. I joined that side because I wanted to.
So, Francis is taken care of then? Dead as a doornail. Well then, congratulations. Happened to have an extra one of these, so, uh... Normally there would have been some form of, like, knighting thing in the past, but, um... Yeah, here you go. And how did you fight with Christy, uh, Well... Yeah, I, I lost. Um, yeah, uh... Fortunately, she didn't shoot me anywhere, um, important, but, uh, yeah, she got, she got her way. So, if you wouldn't mind sticking around for a while, um, I could use, uh, another exorcist backing me up going after her. I mean, she's not a demon or anything, but, uh, you know, let's just say she's the type of problem that we still need to take care of. I don't know.